I took the pregnancy test and it was really one of those things where it was like before it even hit the counter, it was like the plus sign. I think probably the first thing I thought was, that was fast. <laughs> let's double and triple check, you know, like, let's try another, let's try another. I didn't believe it. I took four more tests to make sure. It was instantly the most exciting I've ever been and the most petrified I've ever been. Ultimately, it said positive like nine out of 10 times or something. And we were like, okay, we're pregnant. We were petrified. <laughs> <laughs> Completely unprepared. Completely unprepared. We knew our whole life was gonna change. Anticipation and just not really knowing what I was in store for. From the moment you find out you're pregnant, you're responsible for this other person, and you want to give them an extraordinary life. It's the first time that you see that you are greater than yourself. There's all these things you can't do all of a sudden. You think about, every, or at least I did, thought about every morsel that I put into my body, and I was really thinking about nourishing myself and nourishing the baby. But I watched things that I knew could be harmful. I never did any research. I never really looked into, you know, things about the environment um, because I was raised in a different time. I was raised in a time that, you know, we ran outside, that we didn't have to worry about the things we have to today. But the health of your child is intimately connected to the health of the environment and especially to the health of the environment inside your home. Every parent should know about Healthy Child, Healthy World because it's one of the best resources for learning how to make simple, wise decisions about what goes in your home and what you give to your family. Healthy Child, Healthy World started with the Wednesday Moms. My youngest daughter, Jordan, was a baby. Nancy and Jim Chuda had had their first child, Colette. About 20 different women from all walks of life came together, changing diapers, commiserating with each other, and it was fantastic. Over the years, um, by the time the kids were four, Colette Chuda was diagnosed with a Wilms tumor. And there are no words to describe what a parent feels when a child dies. We felt very concerned about what we might have been exposed to, what I might have been exposed to in my pregnancy that might have caused this cancer to develop. 125 million people just in the United States alone are affected with chronic illness and disease and that ranges from cancers to autism, asthma, learning disabilities. There's clear scientific evidence that they're directly linked to hazards in our environment and household products. And so Healthy Child is there to be a consumer watchdog, an advocate for parents, and an educator, an educator that has children's best interest in mind. You know, we bring pesticides and herbicides and cleaners and they have big skulls that say, you know, keep out of reach of children, but we're spraying it and our, child's, our child is breathing that stuff in. Today there are over 85,000 chemicals listed by manufacturers and the chemicals industry, and only 10% of those have ever been tested on human health, and less than 1% have been tested on children's health. When you wake up in the morning, a typical adult will do shampoo and toothpaste and shaving cream and antiperspirant. And all told, the average person puts more than 120 chemicals on their body every day without even thinking about it. So by the time we're adults, we've been exposed every day to thousands of things that we're not aware about. So every hazard is magnified or can be magnified for kids. They don't have a mature immune system to detoxify a lot of these things the way that you and I can. When I tell parents about hazards that they're bringing in their home every day, I see that moment of being paralyzed. My immediate thought is, all it takes is one step at a time. My kids take off their shoes, wash their hands, you know, do all those things to kind of minimize the outdoor toxins and pollutants that we don't really have a lot of control over. One simple thing that families can do is to pay attention to the plastics that they use, especially things that you eat or drink from. What we do know is organic produce is better. There are trace levels of pesticides on many of the fruits and vegetables. There's all kinds of chemicals in the food that unless you wake up and notice, you won't be aware of. 
The challenging thing is that it's hard to kind of figure out what is real and what's not real. I know that when I go to the Healthy Child website or I talk to somebody from Healthy Child that they have already done that research. What Healthy Child is all about is delivering the message in a way that they can understand the science because it's all based in very credible science, but then they also can understand, hey, there's something you can do. They have also talked to the scientist who's behind the news story, you know, and, and I really trust them. It's just such an incredible resource that I get to feel like a proud parent because I've got a healthy child sort of doing the dirty work for me. Finding a balance within this whole lifestyle is not about achieving perfection, but it's about constantly learning. My son Andrew has allergies and asthma, so to have any of the inhalants and that kind of stuff in the house is, you know, detrimental to his health. So we make our own cleaning products, which was a really big change. It's really easy. And it lasts for a long time. Ever since then, I've noticed an improvement in his health. I think that nobody can do it all at once. I think that's what's really overwhelming, is when families think that you have to make these huge global changes. Having that information at your fingertips, you feel empowered. And you feel that you can really make a difference in protecting your child. It's not all out of your control. The biggest thing that we've realized is that that people can make a difference by the choices they make. Every parent wants to do the best they can, but that's all you can do too is the best you can. We just try to focus on what we can do in our house, in our neighborhood. Well, your environment is, you know, any place you are. So your environment is your home, it's your yard, it's your street, it's your city, it's your country, it's your world. There is no greater investment than your children's health. I think our greatest hope is that we just raise children who are aware of what's around them, aware of how what they do affects other people. While dominating the world. <laughs> of course, everyone wants their kid to be educated. They want them to have a happy you know, family life and an emotional life. But if you don't have a healthy environment for them to be in and exist in, then you really, all those other things aren't going to matter. My hope for my son is that he doesn't have to worry about the air he breathes, the water he drinks, and the health of his grandchildren. Well, yesterday I turned nine months pregnant, which is so funny because they tell you it's nine months. It's not. It's ten. I am so looking forward to the moment of holding my baby for the first time. To learn how to create a safer environment for your family, visit us at HealthyChild.org or pick up our book, Healthy Child, Healthy World.